Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Addison and today we're going to be unstuffing some of my cash envelopes and then taking that money and putting it towards my bills for January so that we can get a head start and so that everything is back in the bank where it needs to be when those bills start to hit. So if that sounds like something that interests you, please stick around. Let me tell you what I have going on here. This is my expense tracker for January, which I just filled out in my last budget with me video. This is my adulting binder where I keep most of my bill related stuff in. We will be digging into another binder to pull some other stuff out, but for now, this is my um, main binder that we'll use for this. I have my calculator, I have a highlighter so that I can mark off all the things on here that we are able to pay out of this binder. And then this sheet is just kind of a makeshift thing. I decided that it was a good idea to multitask and do updates on my computer while I filmed this video tonight. And the sheet that I needed to print out is on there. So that's where we're at. This is just gonna have to do for now because this money needs to go back in because I'm not trying to overdraft my account while I wait for that to reset. So let's get right into it. So today, the first thing that I'm gonna do is start flipping through here. Sorry, I'll pull this up so you can see it. Um, my bills, I know that I still need to put another $150 in here, which I'll be able to do on either Monday or Tuesday when I do my Amazon money. So we're gonna leave that alone for now. Subscriptions, I have, how much do I have in here? I have 50, 60, 70, $80. So I'm gonna start going down through subscriptions. I'm going to put $80 in my calculator. My Kindle Unlimited subscription is $10. So we'll cross that off. And we'll subtract 10 from the 80. My next subscription is Audible, which is 16. So we'll cross that off. My next one is Book Sprout, which is 20. Okay. So we'll cross that off. And then my next one is iTunes, which we'll need 17 for, which leaves me with another 17. So we'll cross that off. So I'm gonna go through here and see if I have any other subscription-y thing that's about 17 bucks. And I do not. So what I'm going to do is I'll put that 17 towards my Les Mills which is $30, so 30 minus 17 is $13. So I still owe, I'm gonna update this here to show that I still owe $13 on there. But yeah, we've already made a nice dent in those bills. So I'm gonna set this all aside and then at the end, we'll write where it needs to go and how it needs to go there and we'll stuff it into an envelope. Next up, dogs. I'm gonna need, how much am I gonna need for dogs? 145 this month. I only have 20, 40, 60, 70, 80. So that's gonna have to come out at a later date. Let's see. Next up, I have business spending, which that's just cash for walking around. So I'm not going to touch that. My catastrophe fund, that's going back to the bank this time. And what do I have here? I have 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 130, 135, 140, 145, 150. So I have $150 and that will go into my savings account. Okay. So we'll put that there. Oh, hold on one second. I'm gonna get my cash holder out so we make this a little bit easier. All right, you guys got to forgive me because I am kind of new at doing this for an audience. I've been doing this for myself, but um, it's kind of harder to do it when you're trying to explain what you're doing. I mean, like I said in a, in a previous video, all you um, 
financial cash stuffers. You make this look so easy. You make it look so clean and so s seamless. And I'm just kind of like, I got crap everywhere and uh, I'm rambling <laughs> and I'm trying to figure out what needs to go where and what I'm doing. But um, okay, so I busted that cash holder out just to kind of keep things organized. So next up, I have debt. So I have, I know I have a good amount in here. I have 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. 120, 140, 160, 170, 180, 190. I have 195 in here, which will cover my minimums on my Chase and my US. And then I'm also going to put the rest of it towards getting rid of that Chase altogether. So what did I say I had here? 190. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 140, 160, 170, 180, 190, 195, 200. Did I do that right? 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 140, 160, 170, 180, 190, 195, 200. 200. So I'm going to mark that on my slip here that I have 200 to go towards debt. And we'll put this in this holder. So yeah, so I know that that is taken care of. So we're making some progress here. Those are all 20s. Next, I have monthly investments, which I believe I have 185 in here to cover everything. Let's see. I have 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 140, 160, 170, 180, 185. Okay, so that will cover my Roth that comes out on the first, and it will cover my SoFi, which comes out on the 20th. So that is good to go. Put these in here. Next up, we have my extra IRA payment, which goes into a savings account until it hits a thousand. And then I go over and because I have to physically go into an office and tell her to take this out of my account. So I have $45 to go into my extra IRA savings. And then what else do we have here? Bonds. I forgot to mark that on this slip. All right. I'm excited to buy some bonds tomorrow. Just feels like a really responsible adult thing to do. So how much money do I, did I set aside for bonds in December? 20, 40, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70. Let me count that again. 20, 40, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70. All right. So I have $70. For bonds. That's kind of exciting. All right, it's the little things. And I'll mark that on my little sheet here. What else do we have in here? Taxes. I don't have any taxes for this month because my um, tip money was already taxed and I didn't have an Amazon paycheck to, I already threw that money in with my taxes the last time I did this. Safekeeping, it stays here. Rollover is empty. We're not touching savings challenges. All right. So the very last thing that I need to pull out is to make sure I have my American Cancer Society covered, which is in my blue folder. So we're going to flip through here until we get to service. There we go. So I need $21. There's a 20 and I'm just gonna do 25 this month. So I'll put the 20 and the five in here. So we'll close that up and I'll make sure that I mark the um, budget balance sheet when I go back through here. But I feel like this video is getting really long and really messy and cluttered and we're gonna have to find a different way to do this next time because I don't know if I'm giving you guys anxiety I'm giving myself anxiety <laughs> just with everything being everywhere. And uh, but now that I've recorded this, I kind of feel like I know where all like the, the bumps and the bruises are. Um, so I know what to do for next time. Like, for example, I put all this money in here, but I didn't write down what is staying in my account for bills and what is going out. So I'm going to count my total amount up 
and add it up, I suppose. We'll subtract these expenses from it and then I'll know what I need to leave in my account for these bills to come out. So I have 50, I have 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 140, 160, 180, 200, 220, 240, 260, 280, 300, 320, 340, 360, 380, 400, 420, 440, 460, 480, 500, 520, 540, 560. This just feels so good knowing that I'm already this far ahead for the month. It's just such a relief. And then I have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 80 in tens. And in fives, I have 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65. I have 65 in fives, which brings me to $755 total. Okay. Now I'm going to take that 755 and I'm going to subtract what's going towards debt, which is 200. I'm going to subtract catastrophe savings, 150. I'm going to subtract my extra IRA, 45. And I'm going to subtract my bonds. And I have $290 that's going to stay in to cover the bills that they need to cover. So. Then everything goes in this envelope. I also fill out a deposit sheet. Everything goes in this envelope. I'm sorry, my hands are all over the place today too. Um, and I save this for my reference. I actually have like a, a nice good version of it on my computer that I'll be using that I'll fill out. But I'm going to take all this cash. And sometimes I do go through and um, break my bills and make them put the big bills in the other binders. Um, but right now, since I restarted all over again, there is just such small amounts in all of my binders that um, there's really nothing that I can do that with right now. But next time around, so I'm gonna stuff this in here. I'm gonna fold this up and stuff this in here so that I have this for reference. And all this stuff's gonna go back to the bank and I can sleep well until um, I guess the 12th, because that's the next time I'll need to go back to the bank so long as I put that $150 in my bills and give that to my fiance so that he can put it in our joint account. And that's all there is to that. So and this was kind of a, a rambly weird video, but that's how I operate. Um, I don't know if I'll do this every single time that I unstuff but maybe I will. I don't know. I, again, I apologize for the chaos. I apologize for the catastrophe. I'm just learning. I'm learning how to do this YouTube stuff while I'm learning how to budget for my life. And uh, that's about all I can say. Uh, I'm really thankful for you guys sticking around and watching. And hopefully this gets more seamless as time goes on. Um, if you liked this video and you stuck around till the end, please hit me with a subscribe or a comment or a like. I sincerely appreciate it. Thank you so much. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.